Hi everyone, today I am going to discuss about the MSN2 med Medical Surgical Nursing 2 for the GNM second years. So, unit 9 that is nursing management of patient with musculoskeletal disorders. So, in that last class we have seen about the septic arthritis. So, today one of the abnormal condition that is gonococcal arthritis. So, it is also included in the musculoskeletal disorders. So, it is gonococcal arthritis. Today topic is gonococcal arthritis. So, the definition it includes the inflammation of a joint due to gonorrhea infection. So, the gonococcal infection arthritis means there is a inflammation of the inflammation of the joint. So, there is a inflammation of the joint because of due to gonorrhea infection. So, by the gonorrhea there is a infection it causes the inflammation of a joint. So, it is called as gonococcal arthritis. Gonococcal arthritis means there is a inflammation of a joint due to gonorrhea infection. So, next one is causes. So, the causes includes it is caused by the Nigeria gonorrhea and it affects women than men. So, it can be caused by the bacteria it is named that is Nigeria gonorrhea. So, Nigeria gonorrhea it is one of the bacteria it can cause the gonococcal arthritis. So, this gonococcal arthritis mainly affects the women when comparing with the men. So, it can be mostly affects the women. So, it most common among the among the teenage group. So, the teenage group 16 to 18 years. So, it can be affect mostly in the teenage group. So, it mostly common occur in the women when comparing with the men and it can be affected at the teenage group. So, there is a gonococcal arthritis means inflammation of a joint. It can be caused by the gonorrhea. So, gonorrhea is a bacteria. It is Nigeria gonorrhea. Nigeria gonorrhea. So, it is a causes. So, there is a there are two forms can be involved in the gonococcal arthritis. One form involves skin rashes and usually large joints such as knee and wrist ankles. So, first form in the first form of first stage of the gonococcal arthritis there is a skin rashes can be occur. So, there is a rashes can be occur over the skin. And next usually large joints such as a knee and wrist ankle. So, the gonococcal arthritis can be occur most in the large joints like knee joints and wrist joint and the ankle joints. It mostly affects in the large joints such as knee joint or wrist and ankle joints. So, in the second form it is less common. So, in the first form it is very more common and the second very less common form involves the spread of bacteria through the blood. So, in the second stage there is a spread of bacteria to the through the blood and which leads to inf infection of the joint more than one joint. So, there is a the second less common form and it is become very less common form and there is a in, involves the spread of the bacteria through the blood. So, the bacteria can be spread into the body through the blood and which leads to the inflammation of a joint. So, the spreading of the bacteria into the blood it can cause the inflammation of the joint. So, more than one joint can be involved in the second less common stage. So, the more than one joint can be involved in the second form of the gonococcal arthritis. So, there is a two forms of gonococcal arthritis. First form involves the skin rashes and there is a formation of rashes over the skin and there is a usually the gonococcal arthritis can be occur in the large joints. So, large joints includes the knee joint and the wrist joint and ankle joint. 
so the large joints can be included the gonococcal arthritis and next to second it is very less common form and it involves the bacteria the spread of bacteria through the blood and which leads to the inflammation of the joints and the more than one joints can be inflamed inflamed in the inflammation can be occur in the more than one joint so the bacteria by the bacteria the infection can be spread through the blood and which leads to the inflammation of the joint so more than one joints can be inflamed included in the second form so there are a two forms next one is clinical manifestation so in this clinical manifestation there is a fever so because of the bacterial infection the patient may have the fever and next one lower abdominal pain so because of the infection the patient may have the lower abdominal pain and there is a joint pain so one to four days the patient will have the severe joint pain so because of the gonococcal arthritis the patient may have the one to four days severe joint pain and next one is pain in the hands and wrist due to tendon inflammation so because of the bacterial infection gonococcal bacterial infection there is a tendon become inflamed so tendon it can be helps to attach the muscles to the bones so there is a tendon inflammation can be occur due to the infection gonococcal infection it can be cause the pain in the wrist or hand and there is a pain in urination so because of the infection because of the infection the pain can be occur in the urination so while passing the urine the patient will have the pain and next one is skin rashes so there is a because of the gonococcal arthritis the patient may have the rashes over the skin so it is about the clinical manifestation the patient may have the fever and the lower abdominal pain and the joint pain uh, joint pain can be occur 1 to 4 days after the gonococcal infection and there is a pain in the hands and wrist due to tendon inflammation so because of the tendon inflammation the pain can be occur in the hands and the wrist next one is pain in urination so while passing urine the patient may have the pain in the urine so uh, next one is skin rashes it is about the clinical manifestations of the gonococcal arthritis next one is diagnostic evaluation so in this diagnostic evaluation it includes the cervical gram stain so cervical gram stain means there is a from the there is a uh, from the cervix the bacteria is present in the cervix or not so we can identify by the cervical gram stain so cervical gram stain means the bacteria can be present in the cervix or not we can identify by the cervical gram stain so the cervical uh, gram stain how we will do means there is a the sample from the tissue of the cervix so the tissue of the cells the sample can be collected from the cervix so from the cervix the sample of tissue cells can be collected from the cervix and it can be sent for the lab for the gram stain so it is about the cervical gram stain so the bacteria is present or not in the cervix the it can be identified by the cervical gram stain so the swab by the using uh, by it can be how it will be do means there is a there is a collecting the sample of the tissue cells from the cervix and it can be sent for the gram stain so it is about the cervical gram stain next one is culture of the joint aspirated so the joint so affected area of the joint from that affected joint we can collect the affected fluid so we can collect the affected fluid and it can be sent for the culture to know the how the bacteria is growing so it can be sent for the culture of the joint aspirate 
so by using needle and we can collect the affected fluid from the joint and it can be sent for the culture to know the growing of the bacteria and next one is joint fluid gram stain so in this joint fluid gram stain so affected fluid can be collected from the joint and it can be sent for the gram stain so next one is throat culture in this throat culture if the patient having any throat pain along with the fever and we can do the throat culture so there is a one swab can be used and by the throat by throat it can be inserted and there is a sample collected from the throat so it can be sent for the culture and it is about the throat culture so if the patient having any throat infection we can collect the sample from the throat by using the swab and it can be sent for the culture it is about the throat culture next one is urine test for the gonorrhea so urine test can be done for the patient if the gonorrhea bacteria is present in the urine or not we can identify by the urine test so it is about the diagnostic evaluation cervical gram stain and culture of the joint aspirate joint fluid gram stain and the throat culture urine test for the gonorrhea so the you in the urine the gonorrhea bacteria is present or not we can identify by the urine test so it is about the diagnostic evaluation so next one is management in this management includes the antibiotics so antibiotics it is the first treatment for the bacterial infection so there is a cefriaxone antibiotic it is it can be injected or in addition to an oral antibiotic so along with this injection and orally the antibiotic can be given so oral antibiotic example azithromycin can be given in a single dose so the single dose azithromycin can be given along with the cefriaxone injection so it is anti biotics so along with the cefriaxone uh, cefriaxone there is a oral antibiotic that is azithromycin can be given in a single dose form so next one is 100 mg of doxycycline taken twice daily so daily two day uh, daily two times 100 mg of doxycycline can be given for the patient for 7 to 10 days so 7 to 10 days the doxycycline it is 100 mg can be given to the patient twice a daily so daily two times in a day can be given to the patient it is 7 to 10 days so it is about the management includes the antibiotics it includes first treatment for the bacterial infection and there is a cefriaxone in addition an oral antibiotic azithromycin can be given in a single dose so along with the cefriaxone injection there is a oral dose antibiotic oral antibiotic azithromycin can be given and there is a next one 100 mg of doxycycline taken twice daily so daily two times 100 mg of doxycycline can be given for 7 to 10 days so it is about the management for the gonococcal arthritis and next one is nursing management so in this nursing management first one is use standard precautions so the nurse has to maintain the standard precautions during the any procedure or the care of the patient so the nurse giving any care to the patient or any procedures is doing so the nurse has to maintain the standard precautions so to prevent the infection the nurse has to maintain the standard precautions and next one is apply heat and affected joints to reduce the uh, to reduce the pain so and the affected and the affected joint so the patient will have the severe pain so because of the pain so we can apply the hot application on the pain area so the nurse has to be apply the hot application at the pain at the pain area so to reduce the pain the nurse has to be apply the hot Uh, apply the heat on the affected joint and next one is 
before treatment determine if the patient has any drug sensitive so before the treatment so before giving the antibiotics the nurse has to be assess the patient have in any allergy with the antibiotics so if the allergy the patient will have the allergy and immediately stop the antibiotics so the nurse has to be determine whether the patient having any drug allergy or not before the treatment and there is a monitor for the complications so if no if the infection will be not treated immediately so there is a complications can be occur so the nurse has to be assess for the any complications and there is a advise the partners of infected person to receive treatment so the nurse has to be advise the advise the partners of an infected person to receive the treatment so the partner of infected person also have to take the treatment so if the test is positive or negative the affected person's partner can be take the the, uh, the person has to receive the treatment the test become positive or not the the person has to take the treatment so the advise the partner safai affected person to receive the treatment so the affected person's partner can receive the treatment if the uh, test is become positive or negative so the nursing management includes the there is a use the standard precautions and the apply heat on affected joint to reduce the pain and before treatment determine if the patient has an any drug sensitivities and monitor for the complication and advise the partners of an infected person to receive the treatment so it completes about the gonococcal arthritis thank you